the start of the end baby welcome back to my last vlog here in california for now it is currently sunday and i am packing up this place and flying back home on thursday i know crazy it feels like i just got here and was scrubbing the floors on my hands and knees and this week we get to pack everything up and break apart this bed and do the whole bit because i've got lots of things on the horizon so um like i said flying home thursday then this weekend i've got a wedding in new york then i've got a family beach trip to the outer banks then i've got to pack and then i leave for my semester abroad in europe i'll be studying in florence italy as you guys know and the time is ticking that's like literally three weeks away so lots of fun things i've gotten a lot of questions on whether or not i will come back to california once i have graduated as you guys know i graduate in december um, and right now I am definitely leaning towards the idea. I'm actually not shipping my car home. We're going to leave it here, um, with all of my apartment goodies. So I do, I, I do see myself back here. I'm not hundred percent sure if I will come back right away in January. I might take my time a little bit after I graduate, spend some time at home, but we'll figure it out together as we get there. So yeah like i said today's sunday gonna have a sunday fun day beach day so i am off to hermosa just because it's free to park there for me i honestly love laguna or newport that's like my ideal beach but it's a little bit further and it's expensive to park so i'm like you know what we're just gonna go to hermosa for the day so i just got dressed i'm wearing well did i get dressed i put on a swimsuit um that's my idea of getting dressed um new swimsuit is from Arel. i've got on flip-flops and then i'm just throwing on this little rolling stones t-shirt and we're gonna get out of here i've got my beach bag packed and i got a new book today guys starting fresh with reminders of him from colleen hoover so ready to go it's gonna be a week guys we're gonna have my last couple days of my internship rudy's and i have got some fun plans and then you're gonna see me kind of package up all of this stuff so Let's have a week. It's the way I need gas every three days, but guess what guys? Last week of California gas prices, woohoo! It's 5.57 today though, which isn't bad. It's a little windy, but it'll do. Time to start something new. I was really hoping for like an amazing last beach day. Go in the water, swim a little, soak up the sun, but it was very cloudy out today. So much so that I'm packing up and leaving at 3.45, which is very unlike me, but I just figured I had stuff I could get done at home, so I might as well get out of here, beat traffic. I just got a bunch of boxes and packed those into my car um, so that I can use them to help move. So yeah, let's go home and get her done. Alrighty, just got home. Let's take a shower, put on comfy clothes, and get to work. Refrigerated aloe after the shower. Life changing. Feeling much better now. My room is an absolute disaster, which I'm not a messy room girl. I know some people are. I am not. But um, things have just been crazy because I've been moving stuff around. Poshmark orders, things like that. So... I sold like all but two things that I listed at Poshmark last week and I just printed out all of the labels and I'm going to package everything up now um, and get these out tomorrow in the mail. So if you guys ordered something from Poshmark, it should be to you very, very soon. Um, thank you to everyone who did order and helped me kind of clear out some of the stuff from this space. And I want to do this today. That way I can also box up the printer. Um, kind of get back home. This might be 
All right, posh orders are all packaged up and being shipped out tomorrow morning. Thank you guys. I was planning on waiting until Wednesday to pack, but I'm getting antsy just looking at it, so I'm getting a head start now. So I have two sets of luggage here. I have my soft top from Samsonite and I have my hard top from Samsonite here. My goal is to just bring this set home, but I have a feeling I'm gonna need to take both like full size suitcases just because I'm leaving my car here. I do have quite a bit of stuff that needs to go home. So we're gonna see if I can make this work. Fingers crossed. In this suitcase, I have everything that I wanna bring to Europe. Um, there are a couple of things that I wanna grab when I am at home, but for the most part, I've gotten tons of new clothes over the last few weeks and I've just kinda packed everything up. Obviously, when I get to Maryland, I will like take all of this out and repack it and rearrange it, but for right now, I have quite a few shoes and a ton of pieces in here that I've like specifically gotten for that trip. Then over here, I've started just tearing apart my closet. I've basically taken everything off of the hangers, the exception of outfits for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And this is all stuff that's gonna just stay in California. So this stuff's gonna go in the back of my car. My goal is to just fit all of this into one Ikea bag. I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work. If you guys are new to my channel, um, I am like a big fan of these blue zipper Ikea bags. They're like five, six dollars and they're literally so good. Like I've used them for every college move, every like literally everything even my poshmark orders you guys saw are like packaged up in them they're literally the best life-changing um and they're perfect for like linens so i put a lot of clothes in there and i will put my towels and my sheets and rugs and things like that in them um they're great so can't recommend them enough a lot of this stuff is from like the hauls that are going to be going up within the next few days and it's really cute. It's just too summery to bring to Europe. And I just like, what's the point of bringing it home if I'm gonna move back here, you know? Might as well leave it here so that I can wear in January when I come back. So that's the plan. one bag of heels right now. I'll probably leave some of my sneakers and stuff out, but like, I'm definitely not wearing these to work anytime soon, so like, we're just gonna bag those up. All right, progress, you guys. Okay, I've got three Ikea bags, one of clothes, two of shoes, and then I have a couple of things like just hanging up slash sitting out that I'll wear to work over the next few days. This whole thing is still full of swimsuits and basic tops and things like that. I'm gonna break this down and decide what I'm gonna bring with me to Europe and what's gonna stay here. All those swimsuits are just gonna stay here. I do have to do my laundry at some point and then I do have to box up my hoodies and things like that. As you can see, I've got tons of hangers and then just a few pairs of shoes sitting out. And then over here, in this little guy, I packaged up all those shoes, my purses, and then I do still have this hanging up with clothes. So I'll end up having about one more Ikea bag worth of stuff probably, like clothing wise, which isn't too bad, honestly, because I came here with two bags worth of Ikea stuff and I'm leaving with four. So for me, that feels like pretty good. Especially because I came here with like, I think seven, eight pairs of shoes and I'm leaving with like 55. So if I can get everything into the blue bags, that's gonna be my goal. And here I've got like shorts and jeans and workout wear and I just am not really sure if I'm gonna need any of those things in Europe. So 
packing this up is gonna be a little more hectic because I'm just not sure what I'm gonna bring versus leave. So we'll figure that out. I'm gonna do the desk and stuff later this week. But for now, I just feel a little bit better that my room is picked up. Oh, I also got a couple of things in the mail from Columbia. Um, I got these things yesterday and I totally forgot to show you guys. So I got four items um, from them. I got this like little workout romper. It's like a light green, super cute. It's got pockets. Like this is the kind of thing that I really like to travel in. So there is a chance that I will wear one of these pieces on the plane. I also got this black exercise dress. I really like this exercise dress as opposed to my Halara one because this is like a moisture wicking material. It's not like a workouty material. Let's see, you can hear it. It's like weatherproof almost. And then I actually don't have like a windbreaker or a rain jacket and I was kind of thinking that I should bring one with me so I got this guy and it's really really flimsy I don't know if you guys have been to Europe let me know um, it's actually really cool because it folds up into like a little square and the hood is actually like attached underneath up here so you can take the hood out or you can wear it like this and then I also just like had a little bit of money left on my gift card and I bought my dad this shirt, he really likes Columbia shirts. Um, so I just saw this one on sale and I thought I would get it for him. So I'm gonna bring that back with me um, and give it to him on Thursday. So yeah, that's where I'm at guys. Good progress. Ugh. I feel overwhelmed. Ashley and I are cooking dinner. She's making pasta and I'm making Cajun chicken that's like really, has just too much seasoning on fire with Cajun chicken. Yeah. It's really intense, but anyways, I'm doing chicken breast. I've got bacon, and avocado, and my flatbreads in there. You know, I make this all the time. And then I've got potatoes that need to be used, so I'm gonna make these tonight, too. All right, dinner is served. It looks so good, I'm excited, I'm so hungry. I'm cozied up in bed, and I'm just doing a little bit of computer work, some like mindless tasks to make tomorrow a little bit easier. I am interning tomorrow, um, so I need to get my posts and stuff ready to go. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, you guys, it is two in the morning and I am having the most unbearable stomach pain. And it's very similar to what it felt like when I had appendicitis in November. Um, if you guys remember, I didn't actually get my appendix out. They just sent me home um, with meds and they said like, it'll either work, it'll work until it doesn't. And I don't have a fever right now and I'm not throwing up. I'm nauseous. I'm not throwing up. Um, so my body doesn't feel nearly as weak as it did the last time. But I'm like at the point where like I've taken Tylenol. I've been up for hours now. I can't fall asleep. Like I like my stomach is in so much pain and I have such a high pain tolerance. I'm just going to drive myself over to the emergency room and just see if they'll do a CT scan and just make sure that my appendix isn't rupturing. I like was like, can you just suck it up and go to bed? Like, just like forget about it. Like you'll, you're going to be fine. But like if my appendix is rupturing, like I do, the longer you wait, like the more detrimental it can be, I guess. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in my pajamas just like this, yay. I don't have time for this, so. I literally have the worst luck. Um, I got CT scanned and my appendix is in fact coming out tonight. Um, I'm definitely gonna get surgery. It's about, it's like 5 a.m. right now. And they told me that I'll get surgery later this afternoon. So, um. This is where I'll be. I've got some more feeding. I've got um, more pain meds, more antibiotics, stabbed and jabbed with needles. Um, I don't do terribly with those kinds of things, so it's okay, but this is where I'll be. All right, you guys, I no longer have an appendix. Just three cute scars. Well, technically four, because they redid one of my scars. Um, so yeah, I woke up a little delusional, but it's okay. 
Um, and now I'm just sitting here. Tip is here. She came to see me because she missed me so much at work today. I did. It was a hard day without me, wasn't it? It was terrible. This is why it's so nice to have family in another state because what would you do if not? Be lonely? Drive yourself to the hospital like me? Anyways, um, I just ate a piece of bread in Sherbert. Chic. Chic level 10. Yummy dinner. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, hopefully go to bed soon. It's like 7.30, but I've slept like two hours today. I'm exhausted and my stomach hurts, so. Morning guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I actually slept pretty good here for being in the hospital. They came and poked and prodded at me a handful of times throughout the night, but I was able to get some rest. Um, and yeah, it's about nine o'clock now. I just ate the world's worst French toast. And I had a call with my manager just to kind of move around a couple of things. Um, Cause obviously I, I'm not home to film for the next few days. So um, they're taking some more blood work and I should be out of here by one today. So that's good. Um, I'm feeling very sore, but a lot better than I was yesterday. I don't feel as weak. I sound weak, but I feel a lot better. And I haven't been saying yes to any pain meds, so um, I feel good. Minus my shitty breakfast. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd say hey. Sorry this isn't the week in my life you expected. Okay, I was discharged at one and Jules came and picked me up. I came home and showered and then Tiff just came over for a couple of hours and helped me pack up and move a lot of things. One of the downsides to having appendicitis and getting the surgery for it is that you can't lift anything over 10 pounds for uh, a couple of weeks, like a few weeks. So she came and just helped me clean out this whole closet. It's gone. We packaged up my desk. We moved out my nightstand. Um, here's my luggage that I need to rearrange because that's going to be coming with me. But we cleared out the closet entirely. I just have some hangers in here. But other than that, it's empty. That's my outfit for the next day. Obviously, I'm sleeping on my bed tonight, so we'll package that up tomorrow and Jules will just have to move it. But Jules is packing up her stuff. We've got the couches moved, pretty much all the furniture out of here. And it's getting sad. Our small home is ending. So sad. It is. So the only thing that I have left to grab out here is the printer tomorrow. But um, yeah, we've made some progress. I am feeling a little um, overwhelmed and just like I need to lay down. I've been moving probably more than I'm supposed to. It's only 4.15, but um, I just need to lay down for a little bit. So good morning guys. It is Wednesday and it is my last full day here in California. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't feel that great this morning. Um, feeling kind of like I've been hit by a bus, but I have a lot to do today um, because I am obviously flying home tomorrow, so we're gonna have to get over that, just take some Tylenol and move on. So yeah, there's still a lot that needs to be done today. We moved my rug yesterday, so that's out from under the bed, but I still have my suitcases right here and we're gonna unpack and kind of repack them just so that it makes sense and then the only other thing that i really need to do in here is um package up my bedding and then package up the stuff in my bathroom my bedding and my bathroom stuff is just gonna stay in my car um but yeah been a kind of crazy couple of days we're just making do um jules actually got me flowers isn't that so sweet flowers and like a, a super nice card so I feel very loved um, and I really do appreciate all of your guys' wishes um, to get better soon. Some of you guys swiped up to my Instagram and said that you've also had your appendix removed and just kind of gave me some pointers and things like that. So um, today I'm going to attempt to take it as easy as possible. Thankfully my roommates are here and they're going to help me bring some stuff to my car um, since I obviously can't lift anything yet. But yeah, this is not how I pictured my last couple of days here, but... Um, I'm very grateful for my California summer regardless. So I'm actually going to finish getting today's blog post and YouTube video up. Um, I am still wanting to pump out content this week. I know some of you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Um, I am crazy, so there's that. But um, I'm all 
I'm mostly done. I'm just gonna sit back down. I've found that the hardest part about this is that um, I have like a really like hard time sitting down and like getting back up. Um, like it doesn't hurt to stand, it doesn't hurt to sit, it doesn't hurt to lay, but like lowering myself down is really uncomfortable, so yeah. All right, last little bit of work for the day. I'm getting done. I just uploaded a bikini haul, and then I shared 10 outfit ideas for sorority recruitment. I've done one of these series every single year since I started college, and this will sadly be my last one. So basically all I do is share 10 different outfits. I leave the links to everything. So today is open house round of recruitment. Tomorrow will be sisterhood outfit ideas, and then the last round preference will be on Friday. So I like to just do these blog posts back to back to back, um, that way it's super helpful for you guys that are going through. Like I said, everything's linked too, so you can refer back to it later. And then I also just posted those 10 outfits to Instagram in case you guys wanted to save this post here. I know that's a little bit easier sometimes to refer back to on Instagram. So yeah, I just did that. My next order of business is going to be um, repacking these suitcases. Really not looking forward to it, but it's got to get done. I've got laundry too and a couple other things, so... So we're gonna knock out. All right, Ashley's weighing all my suitcases for me since I obviously can't. I have this like little thing where you just pull up and it will tell you digitally on this screen how much it weighs. It's very accurate. Occasionally it'll be one pound off, but this says it's 43 pounds. I've got a carry-on and then this guy is like right at the limit, but it always is. Um, I'll leave that link down below. It's from Amazon. It's super helpful. It was one of my Christmas gifts. And then so was that little hat clip on the back of my backpack. That's how I bring hats to and from. So we're getting down to the last few things, just trying to place a couple more items in here. But um, yeah, it's looking empty, sad. All right, one last package here at Swall. Our Coconut Girl Summer, just in time for our last little adventure together. So cute. What is the name of this? Height? Height Mitt. Height Mitt. Coconut Girl Social Club. So Joel's actually customized these to say Coconut Girl Summer. And now we all have matching ones. How cute is love? So cute. Coconut girl! And they're nice sweatshirts. This is yeah, a thick sweatshirt. I'm gonna wear mine on the plane tomorrow. I was planning on wearing this white hoodie, but... Love! Aww. So cute! So cute. Sorry, I didn't feel like getting up. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Alright, this place is pretty much empty for those of you guys wondering it's actually just me who's leaving tomorrow they don't leave until the end of the month um the only reason i didn't stay like the final days of our lease you know 29th 30th 31st was because i have this wedding um and if i didn't i would have stayed extra days with them sad I know. look guys i got my cartilage pierced yesterday so cute. fun fact <laughs> fun fact right, look how cute my little crew neck is love i have the size medium on and I have my Lulu fanny pack. I'm about to leave the house for the first time today. Um, we're actually headed over to Hermosa. Tiff is going to be keeping my car while I am away in Europe. Um, such a huge favor for my me. My car is fully stuffed. I don't even know how I acquired this much stuff in the last two months. That's all I was here for, but we did. Um, I've got some of Jewel's stuff too, and she's driving my car right now since I'm technically not really supposed to be driving yet. Um, so we're headed over to Hermosa now. And it's cloudy. California is sad that I'm leaving. Are you gonna miss me? Of course. Yeah. Right? Tip's a loser and got a salad. <laughs> 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 salad is like a bowl. <laughs> Hangover burger to split because Ashley and I are gonna devour the shrimp yeah. nachos too. I'm so excited. Summer! Pizza? Pizza was good. It was like a six. Yeah. I know it's alright. My hangover was good today, 
really nice. But the shrimp was not as good. What did you think? Um, I've had better, but it was so good. Sweet experience. Goodbye, Hermosa! Thank you for the best summer ever! American Junkie Summer. <laughs> junkie Girl Summer. Coconut Girls out. Tiff just said, why don't you do that about vlogging? <laughs> Mackenzie's followers have been telling me I should do it. Yeah. I, guys, I still don't understand. Right in the what, comments. I don't understand what vlogging is. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite view ever. Just to see you later. So frightening. say one of my favorite parts about living here was having my own bathroom. I loved having double sinks, two mirrors, a bathtub, a shower that's so nice. It had the stool. So we just got home and I'm about to take one last really good shower. I'm going to wash my hair, scrub off all the just dirt off me and enjoy one last little moment, you know? We have to romanticize everything in this household. We're playing Need or Leave with Jules. Woo! Roomy night. Roomy night. I think these are a need. I like those. I think you those are a, I do. a need for fall in New York. Yeah, yeah. okay, so need. Fall. Fashion because day. let's be real, you don't really have many warm clothes. I know. These are honestly a good one. It's just like having to pack them. Okay. This is old, but I thought maybe the same. No, gist. absolutely not. Leave, it. leave that. It's just yeah, so yeah, sad. Yeah. It's five hundred dollars. Really? Oh Sell it on Poshmark. I'm trying. I should put it down to like twenty. How much was the other for? Like, it's cute. You just look like you're stuck in 2015. I know. It's from. <laughs> That's a toss. Leave. Okay. No. <laughs> Andrew got Jules. my ex-boyfriend Andrew then because he knows about well, me. Andrew is an ex for a reason because he bought that heinous <laughs> scarf. With this in New York today? With this in Paris? Uh, not for me, it's a no. <laughs> Sad. Okay, some little Victoria's Secret rhinestones. Ew, God, no. Else. Get rid of those. Um, those are so ugly, Jules. They're sadly a recent <laughs> I, I know them? they are. I remember when you got them and you wore them with that one blue sweatshirt when I came here. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Why did I buy Throw them? Throw them away. <laughs> so sad. Oh, okay. Uh, see, I don't like that, but it's very you. And for you to be in Boston, yeah. But yeah. it's so clunky. I don't like that, but it's very you. And for you to be in Boston, yeah. But yeah. it's so clunky. Where is that from? Pretty little thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's giving the abdominal snowman. I know. Uh, I just have to get rid of it. What is it called? Like, it's taking up a, it's it's takes up a whole abdominal. box. Okay, so get rid of it. Okay, so get rid of it. They get rid of it. It's the way I can't really see Taylor your face. so that she can hold on to it too. <laughs> well, Julie, and call it. Jules, just because we spent $100 oh, dollars oh, years oh, ago does not mean we keep them. Work. Jules, those are so old, they're going to be back in style in a few months. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Leave those. No, those are no. heinous. You just told me they're going to be back in style. That's Next. <laughs> Guys, I got something from Jules. Lululemon pants. Jules has been trying to pawn off her shit to me all week as I pack, but she just tried to give me these Lulu leggings. We don't know what kind they are. They feel like the ones that are like Yogalicious. I think that these are the uh, Aligns, not the yeah, Wonder Unders. But I'm gonna try them on. Cute. Thanks, Jules. Yeah. Never thought the day would come, but here we are. It's Thursday, which means it's time to go home. Going comfy casual on the plane today. I've got on the Lulu leggings that Jules gave me yesterday. The same black tank top I was wearing, the same coconut girl sweatshirt that I was wearing last night. And then I've got on my Converse. These are just like my little platform foamy ones. They match my sweatshirt perfect. I've got my suitcases. Like I said, I'm checking to, bringing a carry on. And then I've got my backpack that matches with my hat clip and my Lulu belt bag. So quite a bit coming home with me, but yeah, this is goodbye, guys. This is like real. It hasn't even been a year since I've been here for the first time. Like, 
October, so it's like I've I've only known this place for a few months and it feels so insane. Sad, sad. Bye, Swall. Oh my God. See you next year or see you in Europe. <laughs>